We couldn't find Drew. Drew was in the shower, then he was outside where he got better reception, and Narit is pregnant. She's not due for a couple of weeks. And all of a sudden, she went in, she felt something, she went in to get it checked out. Next thing you know, 20 minutes later, she had her baby. So uh, Drew was coaching her through it. It was getting kind of loud back there. We were kind of like, what's going on back there? Drew was doing his best coaching. At least that's what he claims. And congratulations to Drew and Narit and had, had a little baby. So, uh, As far as the game goes, obviously, it's just a, a spectacular win. Uh, the kind of win that takes faith and takes guts. You know, um, we, we talked to, well, there's some things there's some things going on with our team that we talked about at the beginning of the season that are really, have really been eye-opening and awesome. I, remember, I, remember, I know Eric came up to me after the game. He said, it was dark. It was dark there for a couple moments. But then we saw the light, I said, you know, and, and that's, uh, that's the kind of game it was. And I think it kind of goes to the fact that it goes to our guys, you know, their, their ability to, to handle a sequence of events. Their ability to deal with, you know, circumstances that are challenging in the game, but also all week that they were dealing with, all week that were coming up, and not flinching. Next guy stepping up, guys like Ardarius Washington even stepping up and stepping up and playing and being ready to play. Uh, guys having a bad play. You look at Chris Westry, but coming back and having a good play, you know, and playing a good game, and uh, and leaders like 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 this guy right here, Tyus Bowser, who has been, you know, playing, you know. As good a football as any outside linebacker in the National Football League all season long. I think he had a couple sacks today, right? And, and getting that, getting those sacks. But everything he does, he does well. And leading our team the way he does it. And, you know, all of our guys who lead. So just that's the kind of game it was. I'm proud of these guys. This could be Justin Tucker on the field goals, just to mention that, in case it doesn't get asked. It's hard to understand how hard those field goals were, how tough those field goals were. The wind was howling down there. And the field was sand, okay? And he, and he was able to plant and kick those balls through, even the extra points. Uh, so that was it. And then shout out to the quarterback, huh? How about the quarterback? You know, to play the way he did, to fight the way he did, to keep his poise the way he did, you know? Heck, there's pressure. There's plays being made. He's running around. Handled the zero blitzes, right? Two of them. Nailed them. Ran, ran around the left side one time for a big run and hit Mark on a crossing route. We got away from the pressure and threw a great shot to Mark, uh, in both in the first half. So... Uh, you know, for him to come in, Tyler, to play the way he did, Tyler Huntley, to play quarterback the way he did, uh, and to win, find a way to win that game at the end, to take the team down in a two-minute drive and win that game, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a good launching for his career, would you say? You know, and that's just the kind of guy he is, and all of our guys had confidence in him, and, and he came through. So what questions do you have? Tell me a little bit about the process of getting ready to play a game. This is a unique week to have. You always have two quarterbacks ready, but this week is a little different even through all the years you've been coach here. I don't know there's been a whole lot of weeks like this. I, I don't know if I can remember one like this. You know, you're right, Nestor. It's, uh, you know, Tyler practiced uh, both Wednesday, Tuesday with a walkthrough Wednesday and Thursday, so that was good. He got the practice, but then it looked like Lamar was going to be good, you know, and he Lamar practiced on Friday. And I think for, I, I, you have to ask Tyler this, but for him to bounce back on Saturday when Lamar got sick again, and to uh, just mentally process that would be interesting to see what he says about that because it had to be challenging, but then he did it, and he came out and played, played a great football game. Kevin, while each of these games is a separate circumstance against a separate opponent, is there something about now having come back in the fourth quarter multiple times that makes you better suited to do it again as you have continued to do? It probably does, Mark. I mean, I, the thing that I just think that, you know, you, you, don't, you can't take credit for things like that. I mean... Those things are sometimes beyond our control. I, I've said this. I've texted this. It's funny. I get like 160 some 70 texts when we win. You know, I got a lot of friends when we win, and I get about I don't know 20, or maybe 10, maybe five sometimes when we don't win because I don't want to bother you. You know, and I appreciate and I appreciate that too, honestly. But um, but what I texted back was I you know it was something my brother texted me is enjoy the incredible, and only God does things like this, and I'm not afraid to stand up here and say that. You know, we keep fighting, we keep, you know, persevering, we keep um, responding, you know. Your responsibility is the response. Keep responding to, the, to whatever turmoil that you, you face. And this is just football, but it's kind of a metaphor. And you keep responding, and then, you know, you let God do the rest. And I really believe that that, you know, he'll, he, he's got your back, you know. He's there for you. And that's, you know, people can take that. You believe that, um, whatever belief system you have, what other way can you look at it? You do your best. You do your best and see what happens. What happened with, with Lamar? Because we talked to him on Friday. He seemed in very good spirits. What happened between 
Friday and or Saturday, Friday and now really. All the way I can describe it, and you know Lamar could describe it better, I guess. But he just got sick again. You know, he just kind of went right back to where he was on on Tuesday and Wednesday, with all the all the symptoms that he had that were there. You know, and it's just you've all been sick before. I mean, all the congestion and all the other stuff. You know, that goes with it. And he had it, and he had it, he had it uh, yesterday. He had it on the plane. He had it, and, and he didn't go to the meetings at night. We thought he'd wake up this morning, maybe feeling better, and he didn't. He felt worse. Um, so it seems like he's better now. I just saw him in the locker room, and we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Are you worried about this being a long-term thing, John? Or? Well, it's it's nothing. There's like they they tested. There's no there's no there's no influenza. There's no COVID. You know, so I don't know. They'll test continue. You know, because I'm sure if it, he, he doesn't clear up, they'll keep testing. But I got to think it's going to clear up. You know, we'll pray for that. Was he pushing you to, to play today, or did he know there's just no way physically he could? I, I see. It. Was Lamar pushing you to, to still play today despite being sick, or was there just no way? There was no way he could play. He knew it. There was just no way he was going to be able to play. Ever since last summer, you guys have talked about how much you like Tyler and how you think he fits your offense, his personality fits your team. His ability where the moment's not big for him, is that one of the things you really liked and one of the things we saw there in the final minute 51 or whatever it was when he led that drive? Jeff, I think you hit it right on the head. I mean, that's something that you saw from him right from the day one when he came in here as an undrafted free agent, you know, and, and just it was not too big for him then. It was never big, too big in practice. It was never too big in a preseason game, and he came out here in a, a, on the big stage, and it wasn't too big for him here either. John, uh, Kind of an oddly specific memory, but I remember the, the low point that there was one for Tyler back in training camp was he had you know a couple plays where he had three picks, and after that it seemed like he really turned it around. I, I guess just when he's faced with adversity, what kind of guy is he? I think he's a really even guy. You know, I, I don't some. I feel like you know you'll smile about this, Tyler, but I feel like you know he just kind of smiles. You know, and he kind of he kind of you smile, right? You know, it's kind of what he does. You know, and kind of like he makes you feel like you know he, he's okay. It's going to be all right. He doesn't. He just doesn't get carried away with it. Yeah, he gets frustrated, he gets mad at himself, but he, he never lets it um, capture him. You know, he just kind of, just kind of has a lot of confidence and he believes in himself and keeps fighting. So just proud of him for that. John, did you feel at any point today that Lamar had a chance of playing at all? No, not not from the get go. I got a text from uh, James early on. It wasn't good. And it was. It didn't look good. I was hopeful up until, you know, we got here. But, yep. No. No. Biggest symptom. I mean, because we heard different things pregame. What was the biggest symptom? Do you think holding him back was it congestion, dehydration? Oh, I, I couldn't rank him. I, maybe Dr. Tucker could give you that. He had them all. I can tell you. It just he wasn't he wasn't in shape to to play and compete in an NFL game. Just quickly, if you can say, do you know if he's going to fly back on you know with, with everyone else, or is it kind of a same quarantine? Flying back with us? Yeah, as far as I know right now, yeah. I think he's flying back with us. I, yeah, I don't think he's. No, nobody's gonna get too close no, to him. I might be, be my guess. Yeah. You want a game, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's okay. No, it's good. I get it. I get it. Anything on the strategy of the game? The way it played out, the timeouts, you know? No? Okay, great. Talk to the guys that won the game.